for today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers from India. And the question goes like this. Solve for the values of A, B, wherein A and B are both real numbers that satisfies this system of equation. We have square root of A plus square root of B equals 3 and square root of A plus 5 plus square root of B plus 3 equals 5. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given these two system of equation, we have square root of a plus square root of b equals 3 and square root of a plus 5 plus square root of b plus 3 equals 5, then our goal is to solve for the values of a comma b that satisfies this system of equation wherein a and b are both real numbers. Now, to answer this question, what we're going to do is to focus first on the first equation that is square root of a plus square root of b equals 3. Now, what we're going to do is to subtract square root of b on both sides. Now, Let's square on both sides. So now, on the left-hand side, square root of a raised to the power of 2, this is just a. And on the right-hand side, we will use this identity to make this calculation faster. So if we have x minus y raised to the power of 2, it must be equal to x squared minus 2 times x times y plus y squared. So 3 minus square root of b raised to the power of 2 this will give us 9 because 3 squared is 9. And then 3 times square root of b is 3 square root of b times 2. We have negative 6 square root of b. And then square root of b quantity squared, which is equal to b. So 3 minus square root of b quantity squared. This is just 9 minus 6 times square root of b plus b. So we can replace this as that. Now what we're going to do is to set aside this value. And now let's get our second equation. Now, what we're going to do is to replace the value of a with its value 9 minus 6 times square root of b plus b. So, we will replace to this variable a. Now, if we do that, we get something like 9 minus 6 times square root of b plus b. This is just the variable a a while ago. Then, plus 5 plus square root of b plus 3 equals 5. Now, let's simplify this. Take note of this 9 and 5. If we combine them, we get 14. Now, let's subtract square root of b minus 3 on both sides. And then, to eliminate the square root, again, let's square on both sides. So now, the left-hand side is simply equal to 14 minus 6 times square root of b plus b. So we can cancel out the square root and squared like this. Alright. Now, on the right-hand side, 5 minus square root of b plus 3 quantity squared. Again, we will use this identity. Now, if we do that, we get something like 5 squared equals 25. Next, 2 times 5 times square root of b plus 3. This will give us negative 10 times square root of b plus 3. And then, square root of b plus 3 quantity squared. This will give us a value of b plus 3. Now, let's simplify. 25 plus 3, this will give us 28. And we will replace this value to our original equation like this. Alright, now, if we subtract b on both sides, this b right here on the left and on the right side is gone. So this is just 0. Next, let's subtract 14 on both sides. If we do that, we get something like negative 6 square root of b equals 14 minus 10 times square root of b plus 3. Now, 6, 14, and 10 are all divisible by 2, so let's divide all of this by 2. Now, negative 6 divided by 2 will give us negative 3. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Negative 10 divided by 2 will give us negative 5. Now, let's subtract 7 on both sides. And then, let's multiply all of these terms by negative 1. If we do that, this becomes positive, this becomes positive, and this becomes positive. Now, let's square again on both sides. Alright. 
Now, on the right-hand side, this is just 25 multiplied by b plus 3. Now, let's distribute this 25 to b plus 3. This will give us 25b plus 75. Now, on the left-hand side, we will use this identity. If we have x plus y raised to the power of 2, it must be equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Alright, so let's apply this. So, the left-hand side is just 7 squared 49. 2 times 7 times 3 times square root of b, this is just 42 times square root of b, plus 3 square root of b quantity squared, or simply 9b. Now, let's replace this to our equation. And then, let's simplify. So, 75 and 49, if we subtract 49 on both sides, we get 26 on the right-hand side. And then, let's subtract 9b on both sides. So, we have now 16b on the right-hand side. Now, take note. 42, 16, and 26 are all divisible by 2. So, now let's divide this by 2. 42 divided by 2, this will give us 21. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 26 divided by 2 is 13. For the last time, let's square on both sides to eliminate the square root of b. So now, on the left-hand side, this is just 21 times 21, or simply 441b equals 8b plus 13 raised to the power of 2. Again, let's apply this identity. This will result to 64b squared plus 208b plus 169. So now, let's replace this to our equation. This will give us 441b equals 64b squared plus 208b, plus 169. Now, let's equate this to zero. So, let's subtract 441b on both sides. This will give us a value on the right-hand side as negative 233b. Now, we have a quadratic equation in terms of b. But one thing we notice here is 64 plus 169 is equal to 233. So now, why not let b equals 1? So if we do that, we get something like 64 times 1 squared minus 233 times 1 plus 169. And if we add them all up, we end up with 0 equals 0. Now what does it mean? b minus 1 is a factor of this expression on the left-hand side. Actually, 64b squared minus 233b plus 169 can be factored as b minus 1 multiplied by 64b minus 169. So now we will use this factored form to answer this question. Now since it is equal to 0, so at least one of them must be equal to 0. We have now two equations, b minus 1 equals 0. Or 64b minus 169 equals 0. Now, using the first equation, if we add 1 on both sides, we get that the value of b must be equal to 1. Now, on the second equation, if we add 169 on both sides and divide both sides by 64, we get that the value of b must be equal to 169 over 64. Now, we found the value of b. How about the value? of a. Now take note that we have the value of a as follows, 9 minus 6 times square root of b plus b. So using the value of b, we can now solve for the value of a. So let's start when b equals 1. So let's replace all b with 1. Now square root of 1, this is just 1, so we have now a equals 9 minus 6 plus 1. And 9 minus 6 is 3 plus 1 will give us 4. So we found one pair of a and b. If a equals 4, then b equals 1. Alright, so how about the second value of a and b? So what if b equals 169 over 64? So let's replace all b with 169 over 64. Now, square root of 169 over 64, 169 is 13 squared and 64 is 8 squared. So this simplifies to 6 times 13 over 8. Now, if we compute this, 9 minus 6 times 13 over 8 plus 169 over 64, this will result to 121 over 64. 
Therefore, the second pair, if A equals 121 over 64, then the value of B must be equal to 169 over 64. Therefore, our answer to this question, this system of equation from India, the value of A comma B, we have two possible values here. We have 4 comma 1 if A is 4, B is 1, or if A equals 121 over 64, B equals 169 over 64. And as always, we are done.